What's good, y'all boy? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Justice, man. Back with another video. And you know, I was just thinking about, you know, my V6, 3.7, whatever Mustang. I was like, man, you know, I just post content, but there's no history behind her that you guys know or what's, what's in the car. And I've been getting questions about the ghost cam. So I figured I'd do a little quick little uh, information thing in between classes because I just got in my ADM. But um, so a little background history. I had a 2007, yeah, 2007 Mustang. It was a V6 as well. So I, that was back when I didn't know anything about cars. I just knew that it looked good. And <laughs> yeah, it was slow. It was slow as the It was just slow, it was slow. But um, end of my junior year, slash beginning of senior year, I got in a wreck. Unfortunately, towed to the car. Glad I didn't get hurt. Somebody was watching out. Um, that wreck uh, it was pretty terrible. But um, man, I knew I knew my dad. Uh, he had his own dealership back then, and I knew I wanted another Mustang. It had to be black. And the thing, my parents are smart. Very smart people. Then my dad said, "You can get a GT." but you're gonna be paying everything and you know me being in high school i didn't know no better i knew i had i knew whatever car i was gonna get i was gonna put money into and i wanted to save all the money i could because i had a little job so i was like nah i don't know and the thing my dad he took me to one of his friends uh, that was working out of that ford dealership let me get in a 5-0 same year as this one 2014 and this thing had a glass roof glass sunroof and I don't remember what kind, but they were Flowmasters, and it was a six-speed, and it was just nasty. This is back when I didn't know how to drive a stick. But that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But I found this car online, and my dad actually showed me a, a Roush edition. But I was like, nah, it's not stick, because I, I want to learn stick. And so fast forward to now, it's been shoot. I've had this car for almost five years now. I got it when it had 22,000 miles. It had an amp in it, whatever. But I love it. I love it to death. And I I really wouldn't trade it or you know, next thing I'm looking for is GTR. Still in V6 game. But um And that's that's hard to say, you know, not a lot of people say that about a V6, but this car's been so reliable, man, and it's 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 really fun, like uh I let <laughs> I let some people drive. And they're like, you know, it doesn't, you're not really moving that fast, but it just, it just sounds and it feels like it because I got the way I got it set up. And that's the thing with a lot of people, especially with V6s, which I don't hate because I love the V6 community, but a lot of people don't know the right stuff to do to the V6. And it'll be trash. It's like a hit or miss, you know what I'm saying? But I love it. I love this car for real though. I've had people, <laughs> let's actually, let's just hop into, um, so, what I have on this car right now, let's, I'll start from the outside. I have a a Foos upper grille and I have a GT500 lower grille. Both of those, I had, my dad helped me install in high school. I was very satisfied. I knew I wanted to be different because, you know, Mustangs look alike too much. I also got, you can see right there, I got um, the rear louvers. And they actually, the old ones I had were on my other 07, but that flew. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, I transferred them the first time onto this car and they flew off on my way down to Florida. But American Muscle, they, as much as I hate, I didn't like paying for them again, American Muscle, because I've i been buying for y'all since I've been in high school. But it looked so good and they gave me like a 10% or something discount, which I know they making all their money, so they have to do it, but I appreciate it. So, got the louvers. The first thing I did before both of those though, I had to get rims because the stock rims on this car was trash. It was just trash. And I knew having chrome rims would slow the car down, but because this car only came with 305 horsepower, which back then I didn't even know. I just knew it was quicker than what I had. And learning stick made all the difference to this car. But having the chrome rims, I still, I think it fits the car perfect. Cause I, I didn't want to black out the car. Everybody does all black. 
and with the rims I also got like a week later the Roush axle back exhaust and hands down I think that's the best exhaust some people get the quad tip some people get the flow masters but like I said the V6 has a unique tone so it's like you can't just throw anything on there uh, more cosmetics that's about it for that so I have a tent strip because I think that that I needed needed it needed that it, it makes a little difference too on the inside of the car I uh, from American Muscle I had the honeycomb dash vinyl overlay and I really like that because it kind of looks like snake skin but it goes along with the black you can see all these bad boys uh, I think after about two months I had the car I can't I can't even much remember but I hit Brahm up when they were a new company they uh, asked for some photos sent them in and Boom bang, what happened? I got the seats and I got the harness bar and I got the five point uh, harness belt. Definitely worth the money, but um, sponsorship was, was great. So, you know, with the seats, that that by itself gives it another feel that you I can't explain either. And every, everything I've done to this car, I've had a vision like I'm, I'm still like I have more stuff that I want to add but man, being in college right now I don't got all the funds but it's still it's still a fun car like a really fun car <laughs> and that's why you know the V6 gets a lot of hate but I, I think that's the real reason I like I really love it because there's a lot of people that don't know what my car is because I don't have any badges I just have a little teeny 3.7 sticker on the back and it's just funny. So besides, I was on the Roush Axlebacks. I also ended up getting the ceramic coated uh, shorty headers. Cause I, I didn't want the long tubes, but the shorty headers just give it a little bit deeper tone. Cause I really liked how the Roush Axlebacks sound. And then I still got a stock mid pipe. And I, th I love the car sound. It's not, it's not too loud, it's not too much drone. Cause I drive four hours back at home to Charleston. And it's, it's just bearable. Like, if I'm just rolling in first, second, third, whatever, if I'm not on the gas, the car is quiet. When it's in neutral, it didn't make no noise, but until I got the ghost cam now, so now I just, you know, it lopes. But uh, on to the ghost cam. Nasty bitch. I've had the ghost cam for about nine months, and I got it over the summer right before my birthday because my birthday's at the end of, end of June and I was like man I really don't know like I've seen people say it hurts the engine and I, I just you have to just go out on a limb with stuff you know what I'm saying and I was like you know what you know this car's been reliable it's, it's been through a lot with me it's helped me through a lot let me let me do it let me just do it and Y'all, when I tell you, this was probably the best mod I've thrown on this car. I, <laughs> I would not have done any other, because it came with three tunes. I have yet to change to the other two tunes yet. The economy and the, uh, uh, well, I had two economies, 193 and 187, but I have yet to change because it's just, the sound is like unbelievable, man. I literally, I literally had an old dude come up and I was just chilling in the Walmart park. He came up, he was like, first I saw him scoping out the car, you know. I said, like, okay, you know, I know he was like, I don't know what that is, but it's, it's a nice Mustang. And I had, cause I had it started. Let's listen to jam some music. This man literally said, hey young buck, uh, uh, that, that car sound like, like a hog eating some cans. What the fuck? But I ain't never heard no stuff like that since I've been in Riceville, Georgia, man. <laughs> like, it really dawned on me, like, I really had to think, a hog eating cans, like, it's just, like, it's just the, the low, so I was like, oh, it really does sound like, like a, like a badass cam. And it just, it, it doesn't get old, like, it really doesn't. And I, I don't think I'm ever going to take it off, unless I go to the, take it to Ford or something, but like without a doubt if you're gonna get it get the ghost cam because you won't know how it is you know how you drive your car and i i get it on my car because i'm a car enthusiast but i also baby my car so 
And with this tune, man, you just feel a lot more urgency. Like, I can just, well, they are big ass chrome 20 inch rims, but I could just spin tires if I wanted. I know what my mom said, she was like, no, nah, you better not be doing it. But I don't do it right now. I don't, well, I haven't done it. <clears throat> and I definitely think, I'm gonna say this though. I don't think it's healthy on the automatic. I really don't. But because I have a six speed, here's the thing they say with the automatic. They say because when you're in drive, when you come to a stop, it just feels like the car's pulling forward because it's, it's the tune. But because you got stick, when you're in neutral, it's just the car just idling. So it's just the lope going on. And so I forgot, I did have two other mods I forgot to mention. I, uh, I tinted out the back side marker lights and then I replaced the front ones with a darker shade because the red and then the, the, the orange just wasn't, it wasn't doing the car justice. So switch out, but my favorite mod besides the ghost cam um, is the underglow and you know it changes goes with the music phase whatever there's also a white flash like but with underglow it's either hit or miss people love it or they hate it but it's my car so I don't really care that's my tribute to Paul Walker because you know he made a huge impact on me like those movies are what got most people into cars and it's a shame that it's kind of dying car, car life is kind of dying but so thank you Paul Walker but yeah, yeah, man. So I definitely think if y'all have any questions, any of y'all V6 owners out there, Cyclone owners, hit me up, man. Hit me up in my DMs and Instagram or comment down below because I, I truly love my V6 Mustang. And you're not gonna hear that from everybody because there's not a lot of true V6 dudes out there. Except I, 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 I fuck with uh, 3 7 Stain videos. If he watches, he probably, you know, he, I ain't that big yet. But, and my dude, uh, Mustang Matt, I think, or he got a, he got a blue 3.7. Almost same setup, but he's got a mid pipe. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little update video, man. Thank y'all for watching and the continuous support. Cause I'm just doing these videos in college and just trying to keep the grind going. And, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. So until then, you know what I'm saying? I wanna hit y'all with a little move real quick. Nah, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yeah, I'm